Salina, Dan Otten's creation, the Salina Relays. Third or fourth or fifth year for this one. The most dangerous race in sports, the shuttle hurdles. Look out! St. Mary's Cami Mencho overlooking now. She anchors a win in 112.59. Coldwater's Kelsey Rammel second, Salina in third. Boys, four by two, traditional race. The riders fast man, Cam Swanson, crosses the line in 135. Coldwater second, Salina third. Girls turn at the 800 relay. Salina's Kendra Fenning finishes off a win in 151.92. Bailey Gottschalk in the riders second. Salina's B team takes third. To the field now, St. Mary's Rachel Meyer leaps 13 feet four and a quarter inches here. How about the high jump? Two left at six feet. Jack Henders gets up and over for Salina. He's pleased, but everyone's chasing Wayne's Fields. Drew Lamott got over six. This is over six foot six. He breaks his PR by four inches as Waynesfield was without much of its team because of the musical going on tonight. What musical? Uh, Coach Everly didn't tell me. <laughs> I don't know that he, he cared to tell me. Do we have results from Salina? Probably not, as that's a late one that goes deep into the night. Well, we'll sing and dance our way over to Robinson Field at Kenton for the Kenton Relays. Begin in the girls' long jump. Kenton's Miranda Gibson going 11 feet 3 inches. Joy Boone, her Kenton teammate, going 10 feet 2 and a half inches. And then it's Jenna Moore, 12 feet 3 and a half inches. High jump now in Upper Scioto Valley's George Bauer clearing 5 feet 6 inches. Still awaiting results from Kenton as well as Salina. What's up, WBL? Bass on the ball. <laughs> How about